Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing the Hayden Automatic Rapid Cool Trans Cooler. Uh, last video, um, I don't know when that came out, but you saw me solder this or you didn't. Um, I forget, the camera footage was horrible that day. Um, like, three cameras died and it was just a shit show. So, uh, I had to solder this. Um, Obviously didn't do a good job because I was trying to avoid that plastic up there as you can see it's kind of melted looking So I bought this cheapest trans cooler on Amazon. No clue how it is um, So we're just gonna be installing it today. This line's fine, but we're just gonna be Mounting it on the bumper So uh, yeah, let's get this ready to go. All right, so this kit comes with here. This kit comes with, you know, a basic hose and this fitting here, which is supposed to go to like a normal hardline transmission. But as you can see here, all my transmission lines are soft lines. There and there, little soft lines. So we're gonna slide this thing back. I've already loosened it, and then we're gonna slide that off, and then we gotta slide that metal piece in there. Back. Move that real quick right here. Oh, okay, that was too easy. Okay, uh, I'll leak the transmission fluid now. So, cram this one on there without leaking anymore. Fuck. Okay, this is getting annoying. Okay, it's off. Our first connection has been made. Okay, is that this bad boy up here now? Nope, too far. Right there. Good connection, let's go. All right, now we gotta run it up through here, I think, and up here. That'll work. Hopefully that gives us enough line for the other one. So, we're gonna put the radiator like that and then have the hoses go into it here. And I'm um, gonna have the other one go through there as well. So, um, let me just figure out how to do this real quick. All right, so I got the fitting all tightened in. Uh, the only reason I use the metal one or the other one is because these are kind of sketchy. These are really plastic and they don't fit in fully. So I gotta like wrench that all the way down after. But just to connect and it should be fine. So we're looking something like that. So I gotta clip, grab the O there. Got the hoses hooked up there. I mean, still gotta figure out a way to mount this and make it flush with the uh, thing. But it should work fine. <laughs> All right, just back, got back from Crappy Tire. Got these uh, license plate self tappers. Um, so we're gonna put this up here now. This, like there, make sure that's level with the body lines. You know, and looks all stylish and everything. And I got my drill as well. You can see the battery. Um, I don't know how I'm going to film this, but boy, if I try. All right, so I don't know how I'm going to, all right, so I don't know how I'm going to show this. I'll get one in, and then so I don't have to hold it. 
There we go. We got it bolted on. There you go. And we just gotta level this one and get that on as well. And we're done, basically. There we go, she's mounted. Uh, I'll do two more just in case. Where's my thingy? See this? Okay. Oh, fuck. And the final one here. You can't see anything. There we go. Now, she's fully mounted. Uh, let's pop the hood. Um, I'm just gonna tighten these fittings one last time with the drill here, because I can. Where's the power setting on this? There's none, okay. Um, and then I can't get to that one, but that one's pretty flush. All right, let's pop the hood and start filling up fluids. <laughs> All right, so I just pulled over on the side of the road here, just at this place. If you look at my other channel, you know what this place is, probably. Depends on when I upload this, but still dripping. As you can see down there, I'm still leaking a little bit of transmission fluid from our cooler install. This is at the end of the video, I believe. Uh, I finished editing it and I don't have an outro. So I figured I'd do this here. Let me just zoom in here. You can see there, it's leaking a little bit of transmission fluid over a while. It's that stupid plastic connector. There, I don't know if you can see that there, that little white bit there. Yeah, it's leaking a little bit, but I have a proper adapter coming in soon, so I should be able to fix this pretty quickly. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, more videos on this thing soon, hopefully. Um, I'm back to editing now. I took a little break. Uh, this is actually a sneak peek here. You haven't seen this yet, because the transmission video is going up before, but like subscribe comment uh let me know what you want me to do with this thing any mod ideas i was thinking about rear disc brakes because there's drums in there right now <sighs> there's some ducktails. i was looking at those uh not much there's a few rust holes bubble thing and you know there that I'm gonna repair that in a video eventually. Uh, I just got the thing cleaned. I haven't actually done the full video on this thing yet, so I'm pretty sure this is the most walk around you've had of this car. So, um, and if you follow my TikTok, that area over there will be more familiar to you. The mailbox over there I filmed uh, a few videos from for the car, obviously. Um, so, links on screen, follow the socials. Uh, got the TikTok now, the Instagram, and the Twitch, which is pretty popular right now. I've been streaming a lot while I've been taking a break. So, go follow those. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.